everyone, and thank you for plugging in the outlet. I am your host, Ted Luke, and we have a great show ahead. Interviews, music, and some tips on songwriting are coming your way. Tonight, we have two guests in the studio. Warburg musicians Katie Aldrich and Andrew Hoyt will be playing original songs and talking with us. First up, we'll start with a song from Katie. Take it away, Katie. Thanks. Open my eyes and open my soul. Don't be afraid where this world will go. Just take a breath and you'll be fine. Just pack your bags and get ready for a ride and just put one foot in front of the other. You just put Open my heart, don't you worry, cause every day's a new start. Don't look back on what's behind. Don't look back on what's behind. You just put one foot in front of the other. You just put Just put one foot in front of the other. You just put one foot in front of the other. Open my eyes and open my mind. I just can't wait. For what I will find I wake each day with a smiling face And I say to myself, yeah, I love this place And I put one foot in front of the other Yeah, I put Just put one foot in front of the other. I just put one foot in front of the other. I, I can't wait to put one foot in front of the other. That was awesome. Now stay tuned because after the break, we will be talking with Katie about her life in music. Stay tuned, everybody. Welcome back to the outlet. Before the break, Katie Aldridge played one of her actually original songs and we're gonna talk to you a little bit about your life in music in general so how long have you been playing um, well uh, my parents are both music teachers so I'd say uh, my music career probably started in the womb in the womb yeah now you are you know not still in the womb you're a senior now yeah, right. what are you gonna do after what's your what's your plans um, well I'm a double major in music ed and music therapy so um, actually student teaching right now it's crazy but awesome I um, have a semester of classes and then I'll graduate, but I don't get a degree till I do an internship. So at this point, I'm uh, applying to those internships all across the United States. Um, so wherever that takes me, I will be. Now, music, is music in the, in the works for the future? Um, well, of course, it's part of my degree program, uh -huh. um, but I hope to continue to play um, on my own as not part of a work environment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I love it so much. I love it. Now, what influences you? 
Um, well, I love to perform. I've done it since I was a kid, and it's always just been such a pleasure of mine. Um, I sang and played instruments growing up, um, but I didn't pick up the guitar until I came to college, and that was a great outlet for me because now I can accompany myself, and um, I get the opportunity to play all the time. So All the time, yeah. yeah. Now, who are your favorite musicians? Um, my like first original, um, when I was a kid, uh, influence was uh, the country singer Leanne Rimes, and oh, wow. so I <laughs> had she was an idol of mine, and always has been, and still will be. Um, I've moved on in my music choice mm -hmm. from that. Um, and my first influence as a guitar player um, was were people like Ingrid Michaelson um, and such like that. Um, so she's a big influence of mine that mm -hmm. I like to uh, use while songwriting and singing. So. Okay. Now, where are you from? I am originally from Clarinda, Iowa, which is in the southwest corner of Iowa, um, a pretty far drive from here, uh, so my parents don't get to see me or hear me sing as much <laughs> as they'd like. <laughs> well, hopefully they're watching the show. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, why, why, why Warburg? What made you want to come here? Well, um, the music therapy program um, was the first um, thing that drew me here. Um, I came for a visit and loved it. Um, and I just love the community feel of Warburg and the small mm -hmm. campus, and it's been a pleasure to be here for four years. Okay. Now, this is kind of a hypothetical question. Who would you want to do a duet with if you could? A famous person or maybe a Warburg student that's been on the outlet before, or anybody? Sure. Um, I've recently come to discover that I think I like playing with people and making music with people more than just by myself, um, okay. as much as I love to perform. So really, anybody that wants to play with me or sing with me, uh, yeah, come on, because it's awesome. Exactly. Uh, anybody that's out there that's like I can learn from, which is everybody, uh, I, I love to play with and perform with. So. Yeah. Any other interests that you have that people might not know about? Um, well, let's see. I don't know. Music has seemed to consume my life recently because I'm student teaching. Yeah. So I do it all day long, every day. Um, but yeah, spending time with people. Um, I'm a twin. And my twin brother lives by, and we love to hang out, and um, he's similar to me in many ways. So um, any chance I get to hang out with him is a great day. So. Wow. I thought I knew you, but I didn't <laughs> know you had a twin. Yeah. All right. So um, now what made you want to come on the show? Um, well, I have performed at several Outlet events, and it's always been a great experience for me. Um, I just love the opportunity, again, to perform always. Um, for people and with people, and so when Holly asked me and invited me, it was no questions asked that I would come and do this for her and for myself and for you guys. So <laughs> it's been fun. Well, thank you so much. We're gonna see you again and we're gonna hear more about you, uh, more about your music again. So stay tuned, stay stay with us. Now um, after the after the break, Andrew Hoyt, who is a freshman, will be playing another original song for us. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the outlet everyone. Before cutting to the break, Katie Aldrich was in the studio and she will be back soon so don't worry. Uh, but right now, another acoustic artist, Andrew Hoyt, joins us for a song. So go for it, Hoyt. Thanks, Ken. No problem, man. Why 
Why don't you and I have a dinner for two? We could go out so I wouldn't burn all the food and we could both pay half. So if you're looking for a guy in the sea, could I be the one you've been wanting to see? Cause you're the girl I see. Starts with a spark uh, to start a fire. Starts with a fire. Banker, a designer, it's a corporate business kind of love. Because we work together, yeah. Our love needs to stay normal. But since we're now together, no need for formal. So if you're looking for a guy in the sea, could I be? Cause you're the girl I see it Starts with a spark To start a fire it Starts with a fire Banker, designer It's a corporate business kind song man now An now andrew I, I gotta know what's what's your story ted i know you gotta know so i'll, t I'll let you know um <laughs> well i'm uh i'm from des moines and i came to work for music therapy uh two colleges offer it in iowa and iowa offers it too but i wanted like the small school feel uh, so i chose warburg and uh like ukulele um they were triplets uh, that i knew in high school and uh they had like a movie night so a bunch of friends were there and I walked in, and there's a ukulele on the sofa. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, I don't know why I was so excited. Like, that's really cool. And so, um, like, their dad showed me how to play. And I was like, you know, I think I have one in my closet. And it was like a it was like a really old, like, really cheap one. And I uh, started playing it. And I got a newer one. Then I got this one. And I just, uh, I'm really lazy with music. <laughs> and um, guitar, um, which is too heavy to you know like oh god it's too many you know and ukulele it's just like oh i'm gonna add this finger and have a c and you know and then um as i've been playing i've gotten a little better like i've gotten up here you know up the bridge and done different things so yeah. um yeah so yeah okay now you're a freshman the future's bright you're young what mm -hmm. do you want to do with your time at warburg what do you want to accomplish uh i really want to um I want to be a musician, mm -hmm. uh, and then the safety net is music therapy, which would also be awesome, you know? I mean, it's yeah. not like it's, it's any bad. worse. It's a good safety net to have. Yeah. yeah. And I've got a third safety net, which is uh, education, music <laughs> education. And it's funny because um, uh, Katie and I, were doing the, the same thing. We're doing mus music therapy and education majors, so. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I had that safety net, and then I could work at McDonald's, so. Oh yeah. yeah, that's that's always a good fallback. My parents' basement is always open. Oh so. yeah, exactly. They they would love to have you. I bet. Yeah. So yeah, what do you want to? So um, what kind of uh, music do you like? You know, mostly playing. Like, what kind of inspiration do you get, and what kind of do you like to follow? I really like anything. Like, I'll I'll uh, like anything except for heavy metal. Mm -hmm. I respect Slipknot though. You know, you got to give them props, but. Um, I wouldn't play that. Um, I, you know, I like anything. Uh, I really like, uh, people say that I, I kind of play like Jack Johnson because mm -hmm. I'm so popular. So that. people like, you know, show their opinions to me because <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no. Maybe um, comedy too. You can go into that kind of Yeah, yeah. Realm. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, do you like stories with ukulele and be <laughs> like, yeah. No, um, but, yeah, Switchfoot. I love Switchfoot. I like all their songs. Uh, now I'm getting kind of bored of them because that's all I listen to, but. Uh, I'm trying to change that up and uh -huh. different things. Like, like Arctic Monkeys, um, thinking about different artists here. Um, the Strokes, they're really good. Uh -huh. So, so yeah, you get, you get a wide variety. Yeah. Now, 
Yeah, so, okay. Um, thank you for coming in. We're going to talk to you a little bit later about, you know, your music, your music writing. So, yeah, right. now you heard the music, so let's find out how they make it. Stick around for, because after the break, we're going to talk about Andrew and Katie and how they, uh, how they write songs. Hello and welcome back to the outlet. With us now we have Andrew Hoyt and Katie Aldritz to talk to us about their music and songwriting. So I want to ask Andrew, you first. You have I have your script right here of what you just sang. Because we work together, we'll need to stay formal. But since we're now together, our love can be normal. Where where does that come from? Okay, well I needed a bridge for the song, okay. so I was like, okay, um, because we work together, like. Because you have to be formal, like, you have to, you know, when you're in the workplace, you got to uh -huh. be, like, you know, all suited up, and you got to do your work, exactly. right? No no distractions. But, um, like, uh, we need to stay formal, so you can't, you know, there's no, no huggy kissy in there, in the workplace. So uh, <laughs> you're going to have to uh, be normal, like, because we're in love, we can be normal now. So, like, outside of work, we can be okay. in love. I, I don't know, I, I thought it was kind of cool, because no, uh, yeah. corporate love and... Exactly. No boundaries there. So, all right, Katie, now you. I wake up each day with a, with a smiling face and say to myself, damn, I love this place. Yeah, um, so I actually just wrote this song, like, literally days ago. Um, so Not bragging. it seems to be <laughs> the only way that I, like, get, like, s perform my music is if I do it fast. Um, anyway, so uh, basically that line just comes from, like, um, I mean, everybody has struggles in their life, um, and uh, sometimes, especially like um, me as a senior, like getting ready to move on with my life, uh, I have a lot of worries, and um, you know, I'm stressed with school and everything. And so, it takes always me a reminder to you know tell myself every day, hey, uh, I like life and I like having fun, and so I I need to enjoy this for myself and not be stressed. So that's kind of where that came from. Yeah, I didn't know that you wrote that. That's really good. Thank you. Really good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, about that, do you guys find it like you get inspiration from everyday things? Like, you, do you find yourself while you're like just doing normal things, you find yourself writing music? Well, I, like I, I just have music in my head. Like I just think about music, and then when I sit down with my ukulele, I'm like, okay, like this part of the day was really cool. I'm gonna like, I don't know I just get like really excited about it, and then boom, like I, I don't know. Well, yeah, sometimes like I'll think of a, a vocal. Um, melody, mm -hmm. and then I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna put this on ukulele chord wise, uh -huh. and then get that, and then add more. So that, yeah, I'd say it I'd happens. Say that, kinda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, I think people have asked me before, like, oh, how do you write songs or whatever? But I I can't tell you that it's like uh, step one this, step two this, because yeah. I think every time is different, and um, things like that song that I sang earlier uh, just come from you know everyday thoughts, and uh, I sit down with my guitar and it just comes out. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I, again on that other side of that, you find yourself, you know, you can it sound it can come easily, but what if you're in a like in a rut? You can't you have writer's block or something like that. What happens to you guys then? How do you get out of that? Uh I think I've it, I go in phases of where I'll write, you know, five songs in a couple weeks and then I'll go months without doing it and just because I, I haven't thought of anything, I haven't tried and I think I always need that time um and then after a certain time it'll just come back to me and so I don't ever force it to happen so okay. yeah I totally agree like but in college like I've been like 24 7 like I'm gonna write a song uh, I guess just a new environment that's prompted me to do that but I just I always feel like writing a song all the time so <laughs> all righty well thank you guys for being in the studio tonight and a little after the break Katie will be with us playing one more song so stay tuned everybody Welcome back to the outlet. I am your host, Ted Luke, and I had a great time hanging out with you guys tonight. Make sure to keep updated with all the outlet events by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. Also, check out the next episode of the outlet on TV December 5th featuring punk rock metalcore band Red Velvet Sunset. 
But for now, Katie has one more song left for you guys. So thank you for plugging into the outlet this evening. Have a great night. Take it away, Katie. Happy birthday, Ted. Oh. <laughs> this is for you. I'm gonna marry the man with a beard so thick and a smile so big that it warms my heart. And we'll have some kids and make enough money to live. And we'll all share love to the people on this earth. I want to live on a mountainside way up high in the sky. So nobody wonders why I live up there. I will use my eye to look out on the land and spy and see the world in a different light. I see the world in a different light I want to sing so loud that everybody around can hear my joy through the sound of my voice I want his arms around me so everybody can see the love we share through the look in each other's eyes I want to live on a mountainside way up high in the sky so no wonders why you live up there I will use my eye to look out on the land and spy and see the world in a different light yes yeah, see the